NASA will launch rockets from a space based in the remote part of the Northern Territory tomorrow night. The launch from the Arnhem Space Centre will be the first for NASA from a commercial port outside the United States. It's a meeting of old and new on the bauxite rich red dirt of northeast Arnhem Land. The ancient Gumach clan is partnering with NASA and Equatorial Launch Australia to send rockets into space from this remote corner of the Northern Territory. The Gumach uh, people have been long historically involved in that and you'll see through the song lines that there's quite a number of uh, cultural components that are built into that. Astronomy, Seven Sisters, Southern Cross, it's all th dotted throughout a Yongle cultural uh, knowledge centre. Now this project is into its final countdown. In the last 12 months, ELA has really come of age and we are now, you know, getting to the point where we are a world-class uh, launch facility and will be desirable from a lot of the premier rocket companies around the globe. The first rocket to be launched will carry an atmospheric observation platform to observe the Alpha Centauri A and B constellations. It will travel more than 300 kilometres into space. Our proximity to the equator being 12 degrees south gives us an astrodynamic and physics advantage over a lot of launch sites around the world and is highly desirable for large and complex orbital solutions in space. The site is 31 kilometres from the town of Nullumboy, allowing easy access to a commercial airport and hospital emergency department. The federal government says the launch is a chance for Australians to prove what this country is capable of. Not only is it recognised by people offshore, in this case NASA, uh, to have that faith in what we're able to do, but for Australians to do it because we need to put that to work in basically rebuilding uh, capability in this country. This event will create history, but Equatorial Launch Australia says it's just the beginning of its plans for the region. We will have um, another 10 pads at least, which will enable us to take customers from all around the globe to launch their payloads into space with the efficiency and the commercial advantage that they seek. On this ancient land, even the sky is no limit. Matt Cunningham, Sky News.